Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to this video. I'm Venkat and this is Just Me an Open Source Channel. Right, in my previous video, we saw how to install and configure Jenkins in AWS and this video is again going to be very similar video, but instead of, uh, what we did last time was we uh, launched an EC2 instance and then we logged into the EC2 instance using SSH and then we set up Jenkins repository, installed the Jenkins Java packages and then we started the Jenkins service, right? So this time we're not going to log into the EC2 instance. We are going to do everything automatically during the uh, launching itself. So when you launch an EC2 instance, there is an user data section uh, which gets run whenever an instance is launched. So that's kind of an automatic provisioning kind of thing. So you can automate some bits of it and we will see how to do that in this video. I've logged into my AWS management console and I'm going to go to the EC2 service, launch instance. I'm gonna choose Amazon Linux 2 AMI select and let's go with T2 micro, free tier eligible. Configure instance details. Okay, so I'm gonna leave everything as default and the only change I'm, I'm doing in this video compared to the previous video is I'm going to put all the commands in this user data section that I wanted to run. All right, so let's start typing our bash script. She bang slash bin bash. We're going to add a Jenkins repository. So I'm gonna to refer to the documentation, install Jenkins. In Jenkins.io, there should be a section for Fedora. I'll put a link to this page in the description. So as this AMI is uh, RPM, is an RPM based AMI, we will be using Fedora thing here. So that's the two commands that we need. We don't need that tab. All right, so paste those commands. We don't need sudo because these commands will be run as root. So delete sudo and then finally we are going to install Jenkins and Java. So this AMI doesn't come with Java installed, so we need to install Java because as you know, Jenkins is a Java application. Yum install minus Y Jenkins and Java. Check config minus minus add Jenkins. And finally, systemctl start Jenkins. So that's all we need. Next, add storage. Let's go with the default. Add tags. Let's add a couple of tags here. Name. Jenkins, let's add another tag. Let's call it Project Jenkins Demo. Configure security group. I'm going to configure a new security group. Um, SSH, I don't need SSH connection actually because everything will be done in the user data script and my Jenkins will be ready. But in case if I had to troubleshoot something, so let me add my IP. Uh, so the only connections uh, allowed for port 22 will be my IP. And then obviously we need to add the Jenkins port 8080. All right, so next review and launch, launch. I've already got uh, an existing key pair. If you don't have one, create a new key pair and then make sure to download the private key because we will be using the private key to, in case if you want to log in uh, to the machine, to the EC2 instance, you need your private key. Right, acknowledge, launch instance, view instances. Cool, so that's the one that's getting initialized at the moment. So the pre these two VMs, these two instances are from my previous video. All right, so I'm gonna give it a couple of minutes. I'm gonna pause the video and come back when it's ready. All right, so the EC2 instance has been provisioned. It seems to be running and all the status checks have been paused. So now we should be able to access the Jenkins uh, setup page. All right, let's copy the public DNS, open up another tab, paste it, colon 8080. All right, so unfortunately we need to be logging into our EC2 instance to grab the initial admin password. Although this can be entirely automated, I will show you in a different video how to do that. But for now, let's log into our EC2 instance. SSH minus I and use my private key. EC2 user at the public DNS name. All right, sudo cat var lib Jenkins secrets initial admin password. That's our initial admin password. Copy that 
paste it here. Let's close the terminal. Click continue. Never, not now, install suggested plugins. All right, plugins installed. Now let's create our first admin user. Venkat N, type in the password, type in the full name and then your email address. All right, save and continue. Yep, that's the Jenkins URL we will be using to access Jenkins. Start using Jenkins. Cool, so that's our Jenkins server that's completely ready. It's very similar to what we did in our previous video, except that we've uh, done all the commands in the user data script. So you can uh, create a copy of this AMI and then whenever you launch that AMI, it will automatically provision you a Jenkins server. Cool. If you've got any questions or any issues following this video, please leave me a comment. I should be able to get back to you. And please share and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.